Probably the best shoes ever that I've used. For I did a 17-21 yesterday. And you can sort of see. Lean physique. Pidgey also has been like on my protocols. Oh, sounds a bit aggressive. Why do I find it so easy? Why do I find it so easy to have an effortlessly lean physique? I just do the right things, all right? Like, I have a goal of always feeling fit. Like, yesterday I ran a 17-21 5K time trial. 2.5K out, 2.5 back. Um, that's a very, very slow time compared to the world record, all right? But hey, I only trained 95Ks last year. I run once a week, sometimes. Sometimes I don't run once a week. Sometimes I run less than that. Uh, but I just enjoy the feeling of having that high aerobic capacity. It feels great. It feels really good. And it carries over in life. It carries over in the bedroom. You know, a lot of women are a mark of my endurance, my stamina, things like that. It just, it just it carries over in your work life. You have that fitness. You have that drive. You can just go through and keep pushing. So that's why I really put a lot of validation on the high level cardiovascular accruement. Right, deploying that into your lifestyle, it makes a huge difference. Right? And it's very addicted. Uh, very addicted. It's very addicting, and I'm addicted to that feeling. That's why I avoid overtraining. All right? People say, you train so little. You, you go and, you know, those, those times aren't really normal for some people. I've been training for a long time as well. I've been consistent for many, many decades. Okay, so that's a big secret as well. But the main one is my nutrition protocols. That's everything. Like, I couldn't run this fast if I was doing what Joe Rogan was doing or Huberman, all those, all those people who can't, couldn't run a mile to save their life, all right? So, or their, their family's life. So, especially even in, I trained some UFC fighters, you know, with weight loss and performance, and it's, it's stunning how little cardio they really have. Skill set, aggression, chip on the shoulder, painkiller usage, yep, tick, tick, tick. But in terms of cardio, the, the level is so low in the UFC. There's no one in the UFC who has better cardio than me. Not even close. Or right? well, actually, maybe Nick Diaz, Nate Diaz in their prime, maybe. Um, not sure, not maybe, like, they were so slower, but, you know, obviously those guys would just crush me in a fight. There's no doubt about that. I mean, we're talking cardio here. So if they had my cardio with their skill, with their drive, with their history, etc., these UFC fighters pff, would have seen such a high level. You know, you've got guys using EPO in the, in the UFC, but they can't even run a, you know, a sub 90 minute 5K. It's like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, sure, it's hard to get caught with EPO. It's really, really hard. But like, why, do you, why are you using a, why are you deploying a drug when you can just get more cardio gains? Like, it's, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. Um, anyway, that's just the deal. Uh, my PR for 5K as well is 16.35, okay? So that's, I, I could run that today if I was lighter. I'm sitting about 78.0 kilos today. When I ran 16.35, I was sitting about maybe 63 kilos. So about 15 kilos lighter than I am now. If you think, people think, man, 15 kilos less than you know, what are your skin and bones? You know, that's what I mean. Like, people, if you want to lose weight, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, I will get you lean, fucking ripped, and fucking fast, and you have the best cardio of your life. I guarantee it. Not like well, the results may vary. I guarantee it. If you're a girl, I'll get you your slimmest, healthiest look, right? your best look, okay? Relative to your age and your genetics, etc. But we will get you slim, no doubt about that. If you're a guy, we'll get rid of that dad bod. You won't have a gut. People won't, won't make Homer Simpson jokes about you. All right? You will be fucking lean, okay? You'll be lean, all right? You won't look like these people who you know, take clenbuterol and thyroid medications and diuretics and dehydrate for two days, all right, and then take a photo and then literally hours later just blowing out and rebounding. You won't look like them. They don't even look like them anymore, okay? <laughs> That's an artificial, photoshopped, diuretic, dehydrated, kidneys almost failing look, okay? I'm talking like like an athlete. Like you look like an... You're going, you're going to look like an Olympic athlete, not this fat shot putter's... But the track and field resembling more like that, or the cyclists, etc., or, or 
the judo people, whatever. Okay, whatever you, whatever goal you want, I can help you with that. Okay, if you want to have a ballerina physique, we can do that. Okay, if you want to have a a professional kickboxer look, we can have that. I look more like a professional triathlete right now. A few months ago, I was more looking like a professional AFL player. Some people even said, "Oh, you play, you play AFL." <laughs> First time in my life, someone, people, a few people commented, oh, you look like a really fit AFL player, you know. <laughs> I can't kick a football for shit. Um, but again, it's just, it's, we're tuning our body, you know. We can adjust it. I can help you gain more muscle than you thought ever possible. I can help you get slimmer than you ever thought was possible. Doingrider.com. Join the team, man. Get the results you want. I, gu- I guarantee it, man. I guarantee it. Lean face. Yes, we can do that. You know, muscles, we can sort of see where the muscle starts to stop. Guarantee it. I guarantee it. YouTube success. I guarantee it, man. I guarantee it. Just like when Maddie Limburner came to stay with me in 2016, I said, I'll guarantee I'll make you viral. Now she's got over 7 million followers on YouTube, okay? I said, guarantee it. All right, now, obviously, I can't guarantee 7 million for, for everyone, but I can guarantee you earning you know, good, a six-figure income on YouTube. I can guarantee that. I can guarantee that, okay? Um, if you want to do what I tell you to do, as simple as that. All right? it, it's like, oh, oh man, like it, it's just the things, are so, the, the motivation, man, it, it comes down to that. You know, like, I can help you succeed, but do you have the motivation to do what it takes? Okay, like I have the map, I have the template, and if you've been watching me long enough, you know it fucking works. There's no one else out there who can guarantee the YouTube success, the increase in cardio performance, the increase in life quality, the 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 the, the permanent weight loss. There's no one who can guarantee that. Right? Ask Joe Rogan if they can guarantee it. Ask Tony Robbins if they can guarantee it. Ask any of these people out there, Hugh Manula. These fake natty coaches out there, ask them if they can guarantee results. At Trent X, they can't guarantee shit. Greg Duche can't guarantee shit, except you give them money and you get fuck all results compared to what they've gotten, all right? You never, ever look like, look close to Greg Duche unless you're using Trent and all the other shit he's still using today, okay? My look, fucking totally natty possible, you know what I mean? Obviously, it depends on your genetics. Maybe you'll have a lot more muscle than me. Yeah? Maybe you'll have about the same. But I can guarantee it. Uh, I can guarantee results. There you go. Um, but yeah, it just frustrates me. I'm just working up. This is my caffeine. Turn the camera on. Turn the light on. Bed face. Just poof, deer in the spotlights. Get it going. It, all these people out there selling bullshit. My marketing sucks. My marketing absolutely sucks. I was talking to someone the other day. I was like, dude... You got the best products out there, but your marketing. Uh, I said, I agree, man. I agree. You know, there's people out there who are making millions and just scamming people. You know, like Greg, Greg, and all those crew. Uh, I mentioned Greg a lot because he mentions me a lot. So, but he's a he's just like the representation of all that fitness industry, which I call it the fraud industry. Okay, because if you follow their results, you ain't gonna look like them. So if you follow their template, you ain't gonna get their results. Follow my template, I guarantee the results. I guarantee it. Name one person who followed my advice to the letter on weight loss and didn't achieve what they wanted to achieve. Zero. Name me one person who joined my coaching group for YouTube fame and fortune and didn't get it. Zero. All right. There's plenty of people who are like, okay, I want to be a YouTube success. And I'll tell them what to do. They're like, oh, yeah, I don't know about that. I'm like, that's okay. You don't have to be famous on YouTube. Every single day, people stop me on the street. Not everyone wants that level of fame and attention. I enjoy it because it means that people are understanding what I'm trying to say and the, the, the message I represent, etc. And the, the running, the cycling, the fitness, the healthy weight loss, etc. I love that. The vegan, you know, the environmental stuff. So I enjoy the attention. When, when, when haters make content about me, I fucking, I rub my hands together. <laughs> Because that's so many thousands of people, hopefully thousands or more, that have never heard of me, who will now see me and go, wow, that guy's, oh, wow, like, he's a rapist, he's a, a con man, he's a drug dealer, he's, what is he, oh, oh, oh but he's fucking lean, his fucking girlfriends are hot, he's making money online, I want that. <laughs> so it's, I love that. But other people out there, 
You know what I mean? People make up shit about them, like people make up shit about me, and they, they, they want to jump off the Empire State Building, okay? But don't do that. So I can guarantee it, all right? But do you want to lose so much weight that your family goes, oh my God, you know? That your obese family says, oh my God. You know, getting too slim now, but you're actually a healthier weight. So it, it depends, but I definitely, I'm here for you. I've got almost 600 people I coach one-on-one, okay? That's, that's, that's the level of output I'm doing, and I love it. I love it. Uh, I love going to bed, just pff, zonked. Sleeping tablets? Oh, my God. People take sleeping tablets? Fuck. I, I can't imagine that. And I'm not against drugs as a whole, but I'm like, sleeping tablet? Fuck, people need sleeping tablets? It, it, I can, man, I couldn't imagine, you know, me needing a sleeping tablet. It's it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. Oh. And it's unfortunate, though, but people take this advice. Even Greg, Coach Greg, says he has narcolepsy. Greg, hire me as your coach. I'll cure your narcolepsy. Garen fucking teed will lower the dosage of trend because trend you can't really sleep too well on trend okay so my my first step advice for greg duche is if you can't sleep take away the stims take away your pre-workout powders all your drugs of addiction the stimulants take them away and take away the trend and all of a sudden you'll be like bedtime i'm going to sleep okay the trends one of the main negative side effects of trenbolone acetate or trenbolone enanthate is the semi-insomnia. It depends on it, especially if you're running it with stimulants. It's like, whew, and thyroid meds. Greg's on thyroid. It's just, yeah, I would hate to be Coach Greg. Like, I wouldn't feel good at all, okay? Not at all. I mean, he would he would feel terrible, you know? He would feel terrible. I can just imagine. I've used trend before. Low dosage. Very, very powerful drug. One of my mo- most favorite compounds I've ever used, but I can understand the 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 insomnia part of that. You know, so that's why I was like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna titrate down quickly because this is like an Icarus drug where you're like, Zzz. so you can definitely get into some troubles there. But anyway, that's the deal. I guarantee your results. I guarantee it. Absolutely guarantee it. Who else is making that guarantee? You know, they give you a money back guarantee. And we can do that. I'll do that. But it's like, why would you just want your money back and you've wasted all this fucking time, right? I can give you your money back, but money's like, pfft, you know, like money, you, you make money, you lose money, whatever, your money's easy to get. But time, if you've spent six months following Coach Greg or someone else's advice and you haven't gotten where you want to be, when you, when you could have six months on my protocol, fuck, you can go from fat to fucking fit as fuck in six months, man. Uh, you can drop so much body fat in six months. You can totally transform your body in six months or less. Depends, I guess, depends how fat you are and how fit you want to be. But most people don't want to be super fit. They just want to fucking lose the weight and not have any people make fat uh, weight for that. They don't want to make people, they don't want to have people making fun of their weight, that they're fat. Hey, fatty. Hey, Homer Simpson. You know, roll around and put it in the wet spot. You know, like roll around in dough in Roll around in flour and put it in the wet spot. You know, it's just these these jokes that go around in, social, in society. Do something about it. If you want people to make jokes about you, then hire me. I right? guarantee the weight loss. Simple as that. I guarantee it. Right? I guarantee it. Like it, let's let's give you some more numbers to crunch. If let's say I was a let's say you know you let's say you're 120 kilos and you're six foot and you're fat 120. All right, you got a gut that hangs out over your pants. You got type two diabetes. Your dick doesn't work satisfactorily for your wife. She's fucking someone else. What you think about fucking someone else soon? You're like, I don't want to have that reality. 120 kilos. You're six foot. You know, you're gonna be down to, you know, high 50s, low 70s on my protocol, depending on your genetics. You know, but either way, you're gonna be very, very slim. Maybe you don't want to get that slim. Then just stop at 80 kilos or 90 kilos or whatever. Okay. But I can, I oh mean, like, type 2 diabetics, my specialty. Type 1 diabetics, my specialty, okay? I love working with diabetics because they're the ones that, like, you can... <laughs> they're the ones who can't bullshit you, all right? And they don't bullshit you. They actually do it, and they experience a, a, a drop in uh, 
their oral glucose tolerance test scores. They perceive improvement, massive improvement there. And there's the holy shit. Their A1C goes down. Their morning blood sugars are better. And they're like, oh, you know, I'm like, how do you feel, man? I feel fucking better. I'm losing weight, you know. But most of them, for whatever the fuck reason, I don't know. They're like, oh, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I'm just like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, they're losing weight. They're losing the fat. All right, they're losing the fucking fat, shredding the fat down. Blood sugar's better than ever. Getting to eating more than they've ever eaten in their life, and they still want to fuck it up by saying, "I don't do this anymore." <laughs> and it's cheap, and it's easy, and it takes less. It takes less food prep time, and you get to eat more. You know, and these people are still. I'm just like, fuck, man. Like, why do some people want to do it? And go, yep, yeah, I'm on the right track. I'm going. And then some people go, you put them on the right track, and they just like, eh, bam. And they get back on the track, eh, bam. Some people, I guess, are just born to fucking lose. If you feel like you're born to win or you deserve to win, hi, me as your coach. Let's get going. I don't want to work for anyone. I don't want your money unless you're dedicated, all right? Because it frustrates me when you hand over your money. I'll give you the best direction ever. And you're like, I don't want to do it. And I'm just like, fuck, man. You know, like, I don't want to hang around losers. And do you don't want to hang around losers? And the best thing we can be for the best thing we can do for losers is not be one. Right? Anyone can be a loser in the moment. I can be a loser for one. Right? It's a moment to moment choice. Even in the park run, five k TTS. I'm like, first k three thirty three, and then the second k three twenty something or whatever. And then that third k, I started to drop off a little bit. I started thinking my thoughts, oh, I haven't done enough training, Harley, what are you thinking? You only done 95 Ks last year, you can't run this quick, you're, th- you're too heavy, blah, 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 you're heavier than these guys, blah, blah. And I was like, shut the fuck up, let's run. And I tapped into, I said, pretend I was, I pretend I was Mo Farah for a bit, All right. and then boom, turnover kicking up, cadence kicking up, I can see the shadow behind me, falling back, okay? It's like, shit, it's Mo Farah, shit works, you know? <laughs> pretend you're Mo Farah, on the Mo Farah drugs, the Mo Farah conditioning, and the Mo Farah mindset, or Kip Choje, or Halle Gabriel, all, all these juiced up absolute champions of the sport, just pretend you're one of them, how am I going to hold my shoulders, how am I going to hold, how am I going to think, how am I going to, my foot fall, all these things, all right, and so then I did that, and then bang, the last K was 320, 320 minute K, and it's like, damn, this mental shit really works, okay, so, yeah, but anyone can be a loser, if they want, okay, Anyone can be a fucking loser. You could be having sex with your girl and you'd be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Tell yourself some bullshit. And then you think, fuck, I'm Johnny Sins. How would Johnny Sins fuck her right now? And then do that, okay? Fake it till you make it, as they say. Model people, all right? It's, it's, it's such a great world out there. The world has so many fucked up things. There's so many problems waiting for our attention. Let's tap into that. It, it, it just, it feels better being a champion in the moment than a fucking loser. That's the main reason I do it. I'm like, I could be a loser or be a, have a mindset of a champion. Which one makes me feel better? <laughs> Which one brings me more joy in my life? Which one attracts better people in my life? Which one makes me feel like I'm in control of my life versus life's controlling me? Being a beater, loser, blah, 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 or going, blah, 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 let's fucking get it fucking done no matter what. There you go. Oh, you're so aggressive. You're so arrogant. You're so obnoxious. Yeah, whatever you want to call me. But I'm fucking right, and I can help you get your life right. Do you want that? Okay? Do you want that? Do you want the results? Or do you want to sit around, blah, 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 wasting time, missing out? Missing out? Okay? Missing out. That's the challenge for you. Do you want to keep missing out in life? Or do you want to step up and grab? You know? I love life, man. I fucking love my life. And, uh... Because I control it, okay? I control it. I control how I think. I can't control what other people think about me, but I can control my reaction. <laughs> it's been, I love the online. I love it now that people call me certain things. Because at the start, I was like, fuck this. This is bullshit. This is wrong. It's frustrating. Blah, blah, blah. I feel a bit angry for here and there. And then over time, I'm like, well, I've manifested this to make me a better coach. How can I say I've got a skin thicker than the battleships if I don't, all right? I have to create, create adversity, manifest adverse adversity. I'm not living in a fucking North Korea war camp, let's be honest. All right? I'm living YouTube influencer lifestyle. All right? So whatever people say online, <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay. Deal with it, big boy. 
deal with it. And so, you know, it's just, uh, it's just a matter of, matter of a choice in the moment. You know, that's why I rate myself, hands up, the best lifestyle coach ever, best weight loss coach ever. Because one, I'll be able to learn from other people. I, I can stand on the shoulders of giants. Two, I've had my life adversities. And I can help people navigate around that or through that or over that. And, uh, you know, just, so yeah. Sign up. Let's get it done. Ask yourself, do I want results quickly, rapidly, explosively now? Am I willing to do whatever it takes? And you, you'll find out actually doing whatever it takes isn't as much as you think. It's, it's just a shift in your preferences. It's just a shift in your focus. It's not really more work. We've only got 24 hours in a day, right? I'm going to help you save time, save money, and lose a massive amount of weight. Just think of the weight loss. If in doubt, just think of the weight loss and how much that better is going to make you feel. You're going to feel more confident, and you're going to feel healthier. Everything's going to work better, right? Do it, man. Do it. I do it, right? You sound like such a salesman. I am a fucking salesman, and I'm trying to sell you the best protocols ever so you can have the best life ever. What do you want? Your best life ever? That's your answer. We also have the pigeon update. I just pigeon. There we go. Pigeon's flying around there. <laughs> Remember that pigeon? How sick it was? How it couldn't fly, etc. And now it's. Uh, I have it living outside on the studio balcony here, and we let it in occasionally. I don't. I don't, I don't get it too tame the humans because I wasn't might walk up to some douchebag on the street and, and get a boot, but uh, yeah. So. I'm going to give it a little mite. It's got a few little mites in it, I think. It's affecting its plumage, so I'm going to get some apple cider vinegar, hopefully today, and give it a bit of a spray, and then I will relocate it to, I'd say, there's probably the State Library here in Adelaide. There's a great little pigeon community there. It can integrate into that. And uh, then that's very, very healthy. It's, it's, it does fly around the city during the day and then comes back lunchtime, etc. So it's uh, given unlimited carbs, and it's just become a lot healthier and energetic. It's a fantastic thing to observe. Look at it. <laughs> Pigeons are actually pretty smart. Be like they're just rats with wings. They're dirty. They're, eh. I find that I find that cute. They have they've very, got very smart brains. They can definitely recognise people. And uh, yeah, no, they're, they're funny little things. <laughs>